Hey everybody, so you can assign key commands to lots of things in Dorico, but there are some things that you can't assign key commands to. But I'm going to show you how you can use uh, your JSON file to actually hack some extra key commands for functions that you might want. As an example, I'm going to use uh, Downbow, and I'm going to show how you can add a key command um, to use a single keystroke to create a Downbow. So, so the first thing you're going to do is, uh, in your program, you're just going to go ahead and and add the uh, and add the down bow, like this. That's literally it. Uh, and then you're going to close your project. Okay. So, um, so this is done. So now we're going to go to wherever it is in yours. At least on Windows, it's users. And then you're going to need to look in app data roaming. Steinberg, Durico 3.5. And you're gonna look for your application log. Now your application log is basically just a list of all the stuff that's happened, all kinds of things. You're gonna look at the very bottom and you're going to find this, uh, this function here uh, for note input, create playing technique, definition down bow, use local override. This right here, this is what you're gonna, this is what you're going to copy and paste now you're going to uh, in here you're going to find your uh, key commands folder now you need to copy this and you need to um, save a copy over here because if you mess it up uh, you want to just restore the one that you had so is dorico closed no we need to close it completely let's go ahead and close it um, go ahead and open up your key commands folder now your your key commands or i mean the file Key commands file might might look a little strange, and I'm not much of a coder. I don't know much about it, but but you see that within the context of these key commands, uh, these are all or of these different functions, uh, different contexts. These are all key commands, and these are ones that I've set, and most of these I've forgotten. I've assigned them to a stream deck, so I don't really worry about it. But you want to find um, the section here called write mode shortcuts note input. Uh, this is the section you're going to be at. So I'm going to select one of these guys and I'm going to paste him in so he looks exactly the same. Oops, one more line. Because um, all the syntax and everything needs to be identical. Then we're going to navigate to where we were here. We're going to copy this. Um, and then we're going to go do this. We're going to hit paste it in. And then here is where we would have uh, a shortcut. Um, I'm just going to use, uh, just because I know it's not assigned to anything, I'm going to use the uh, the percent symbol. So that's literally all you have to do. Just hit save and close and close. Now let's go ahead and launch Dorico again. And I'm going to pull up solo lead sheet. And there you go. You now have a down bow mark. You can do this with all kinds of other functions. I've also used it for um, custom scaling. So uh, if I have if I have some notes and I want to scale them, um, I've used I've used um, Control Alt C to scale them down. That was a hack I used the same way. Uh, here's another one. If I had a time signature anywhere, I've used uh, H to hide that time signature. All kind of helpful functions, and these are examples of functions that are not uh, natively available here on key commands, but if you hack your JSON, uh, if you perform the function, and then you close Dorico and you look at your application log, you can find that string, and it doesn't work for everything, but it works for lots of functions, and then you can just add that uh, to your key commands JSON file. Hope that's helpful.